and uh, what a very good morning it is too. Uh, today we're going to be going over a few metals, spinners, I don't know, call them what you like. Um, yeah, to be honest, we don't really get that much of a chance to use them, obviously because of the shallower waters. I mean, you're going to be in trouble going across the rocks with the old spinners, to be honest. I mean, the times we go fishing and people turn up and when we go daytime fishing that have just got spinners and all you ever see is them snagged up snapped off another spinner on boom out there couple of cars boom snapped off so it's not very productive it's a waste of money to be honest you've got a fish where it's deep water or where it's sandy i mean it's still a great place to catch bass you know in the in the surf, I mean, it's very, very popular, you know, using spinners and that in the surf, surf fishing. Not really done much of it myself, but there you go. Anyway, we'll go through the spinners for you. I don't need a few. Right, the first uh, spinner on the, um, on the list is the Savage Gear Seeker. Ah, now this is absolutely beautiful little metal. I'd call it a metal, it's not a spinner. That, that's gonna spin through the water. I mean, have a swivel on it if it did. So we say that's a metal anyway. Now that is it's just beautiful. If you look at it, if you, I don't know if you can see the colors of that lure. This one also got a little tiny luminous green slip through it, uh, green strip through it. And there's a couple of luminous dots. Now, um, cast an absolute mile. Like I say, perfect for sandy surf conditions. I wouldn't use it on the rocks, really, would it? You're going to bloody lose it, especially if it's if you're in the shallower water, like I said in the intro. Having saying that, the bass man's got a friend that had a 12 pounder. This is when they was pretty scratchy. They wasn't they weren't catching anything. The only thing is, he had a 12 pounder on one of these. He kept using it for weeks and weeks, and then they never really had that much after that. You know, well, you would, wouldn't you? If that's what you caught, some a fish like that's a fish of a lifetime, bigger than my biggest one. But that's the Savage Gear Seeker. Only downside is this actual version is an absolute nightmare to get hold of. I mean, you can get the smaller one. I think there is another bigger one, but that's the perfect size for us lure fishermen. I think. Well, off the, off the, uh, off the shore it is anyway. So that's the Savage Gear Seeker. Bit of a nightmare to get hold of. But there you go, still a great one. If you can get this one, then by all means get it. Right, the next little lure is, uh, well, I can only say, is the classic, classic Toby lure. Now, in my opinion, that is a spinner because it's on a swivel. It's probably going to spin through the water. Not that I've been underwater to have a look, but as I say, that is a, a classic spinner. And that, uh, as people have been using Tobies for years and still use uh, Tobies. I can remember fishing off one of our local points. This bloke had, he must have had about six bass lying on the beach. And that was what he was using. But this was back in the 80s. That was all he ever used. But, you know, that's a fantastic door. It stood the test of time, the old Toby. Quite heavy. There's a few different patterns in that. But, uh, like I say, I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't use them perfectly. Obviously, I've got one because I've had it for bloody donkey's years, to be honest. But still, a great lure. Great big trebles. That's another thing. You know, the old lures. Christ, some of the trebles are absolutely massive. More like anchors. There you go. That's the uh, the Abu Toby lure. Right, the next little bugger. Well, I say little. Yeah, it is little, but this is a, a weighty little uh, number. It's the Savage Gear Psycho Sprat, twenty-eight grams. Oh, geez, and that is designed to like cast to france i'm afraid well from our shores anyway no i'm only joking that is no honestly that is an absolute bullet 28 grams that's going to go like a missile now 
The other Savage Gear Seeker, I forgot to say, that is the uh, that is the pearl white, that version. Where is it? It's here somewhere, isn't it? The pearl white. Now, that's 23 grams. Now, you'd think that that's as fat as you like. But I'm sure that's the 23 gram, the, uh, the pearl. That would be the one I would get anyway. And this is 28 grand. So that's that goes like a bullet. I mean, I was I was told to get. I got one of these anyway because they were really hard to get hold of, and I managed to get hold of one. But I also bought one of these because I just wanted another one, a different one. But still, never really used it. I'm sure that it will it will get its chance. Like I say, I'm going to be totally honest. But what a lovely looking lure. How, the, how they've come on over the years. The old sp spinners is amazing. Anyway, that, well, I'd say that was a metal like the Savage Gear Seeker. But another goodie. <laughs> right. Now the next one is the Tronics Wave Perk. Now, that's a little skinny little lure. A skinny little spinner again 28 grams now that's um obviously i suppose it's a sand eel imitation never used it never used it but i've had it for years it's just one of them ones i collected like now obviously i collect different plugs but it was one of them ones that um i've got years ago and it's always been in my i always get always been in my little spare lure box but that's Another one, a very popular lure, like a jigging sort of lure. People would use it for bouncing it in deep water or even off a boat. Like it goes along with like, you know, the likes of like the same sort of lure as a Dexter Wedge. I mean, I haven't got a Dexter Wedge. I used to have one. I think I snapped it off, casting it out somewhere years ago. But that was when we used to use night <laughs> online or it come off somewhere or probably lost it on the rocks trying to be clever. But the Dexter Wedge is another really, really popular uh, popular metal spinner, perk, whatever it is, because they go quite big, big, the old Dexter Wedges. But that's the uh, Tronic Wave perk. Right, just rounding things off with these uh, spinners. Nothing to do with bass fishing really but I'll, I'll show you them anyway this is like a spoon I got this from a, a like a, a county fair up in uh, Penrith about five years ago the geezer told me that it'd be brilliant for bass but it's actually a salmon lure because salmon like the um river U is it up there is they're really it's really popular up there having saying that I bought these other look little spinners actually caught a, a brown trout on that bloody killer and uh this is also an old abu lure the abu spinner i wouldn't use them down here but people do use them for the likes of mackerel i think you know with a little light light rod little light line and that cast that out and what this one looks like it's come from uh before the war you might find that on the Antiques Roadshow. I mean, I might even go on there myself and see if it's worth a, a bob or two. I doubt it, doubt it. Doubt it. Light as a feather. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Anyway, it's only a little guide. I mean, like I say, we don't really use uh, we don't really use the um, metals or cells. I mean, we probably I have got them. Obviously, I mean, I've all, always taken them with me just in case that scenario comes. I'm going to try them this year. Anyway, if you like this video, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that little notification bell. And don't forget, there's a free ebook on our, our website for anyone who, who's interested in learning about lure fishing that hasn't got a clue, because it can be quite an hard old game out there. Anyway, thanks for watching. All the best. <laughs>